Hello everyone, welcome back. This is another important topic in Ethernet, which is back of algorithm. So let's start with understanding what it is actually. So let's say in this Ethernet, we have two nodes connected N1 and N2, okay, or two channels or two stations, okay, on this carrier C. Now let's say at time t equal to zero, this node N1 starts transmitting some data and at the same time if node 2 also starts transmitting some data okay so what will happen there will be case of collision right so here collision will happen jamming sin signal will come back to both of these nodes okay and then these nodes will come to know that collision has occurred in the channel in the medium and hence the current frame I have to retransfer, right? Now, they both know that retransmission has to occur after this jamming signal has reached to them. So what will happen just after jamming signal has come, they will again start transmitting, okay? So retransmission will be started. But assume this node has also come to know that there has and it also starts retransmission at the same time okay so what will happen if we don't apply any mechanism what will happen is as soon as jamming signal come to this node and this node they will start retransmission okay again collision will happen and then again when jamming signal which will reach to these nodes then again they will stop the transmission and soon after they will start retransmission okay so this collision will keep on occurring and they will keep on retransmitting so in this way the efficiency is completely killed because they both are trying to transfer the channel is busy always they both are trying to transfer and collision is happening they none of them are able to transfer complete the transfer okay so to avoid this situation we use this back of algorithm so it has variations but what we use of okay this is what we have to study binary back of algorithm so what happens is when collision occurs these node choose to wait for some random time okay and what is how this random time is in calculated so this waiting time is equal to k times k times round trip time okay so what is this k so this k is randomly taken from 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1 right and then question is what is this n so n is collision number Right, so let's understand this with an example. So these are two nodes, let's try uh, to understand uh, with these two nodes only. So let's say at time t equal to zero, they both started transmission. So this collision occurred, okay? Now, what they will do is they will choose, so this is collision number one, right? So this is c equal to now, c equal to one. So they choose a number k equal to 0 or 1, right? Similarly, they will also choose a number between 0 or 1, okay? So then they will attempt retransmission after how much time? After waiting time equal to this 0 or 1, 0, 1 into the round trip time, right? So what may happen is, this number chooses, this station chooses 0 and this station chooses 1, okay. So this st station now will start transferring immediately and this station will wait for this 1 into RTT time, okay. So if both choose same number, let's say 1, okay, then both will wait for 1 into RTT right 1 into RTT 
and then we'll try to retransmit. So in that case, both choices one. So what will happen for both of them? RTT will be equal to one in sorry waiting time will be equal to one into RTT. Here also one into RTT, and then they will attempt the retransmission. So as for both the waiting time is same. So after waiting for this one into RTT, they will attempt the retransmission and then again they will collide, right? So now in this case, C will be equal to two. Okay. And this, what will be the value of K? So this time value of K will be two to the power two minus. So it will be now zero to two to the power minus one. Oh, this is, this is, this is minus one. Yeah. So two minus one and here also it will be K equal to zero to two to the power two minus one, right? So this will be zero, one, two and three. This will be also zero, one, two and three, right? So with the number of collisions, the probability that they will attempt to transfer decreases. Okay. That's how we resolve this situation of collision. There has been a numerical problem included in this entire, uh, um, for this, in, for this day of preparation. So you must go through that problem. And yes, there is a situation which we have to study is capture effect. So let's assume in Ethernet we have added. Now at a time, let's say channel, I'll add order it. So this is one, two, three, four. Now at a time, t equal to zero. This station wants to transfer data and this station also want, wants to transfer some data. So for both on both of them, n that is collision is equal to zero, right? Now collision as both will start transferring immediately, there will be a collision between, right? And then for the first collision, back of algorithm will run, okay? So for this station, k value equal to zero or one it will be chosen from zero one this it will be zero or one now let's assume that station one wins the race and it gets chance to transfer the data fine after completion let's say some other channel let's say this one wants to transfer the data so for it also here it wants to transfer the data and after one round trip time of waiting this station again wants to transfer the data now again collision occurs back on back of algorithm will run so here for this station k equal to 0 1 but for this station as this collision number n was already 1 now it will be 2 because for this station it is second collision Right, so now this time it will be k equal to 0, 1 for this, but for this it will be k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So among this 3, n will be randomly chosen, right? Similarly, if next time this station want to transfer the data, so this, this, this winning chances for in this case is high for this and assume, let's assume this one this station wins and transfer the data. Now in this case, now after the wait is over, this station wants to transfer data, station two, okay? So it has n value equal to zero because no collision for this. And if this station also tries to transfer the data at the same time and collision occurs, now what will be k value for this? Again, zero, one, but for this, now k value will become because it is already two collision so it will be three so k value will be zero one two three four 
five, six, seven, right? So any value from these numbers will be chosen and then it has to wait for that much time. So you can see for this station, it is not fair, right? This station is being because it this station lost and then for this probabilities keep on decreasing to get the medium, right? So this is called capture effect because for this station, the medium has been captured. Okay, every time it is getting less probability. So generally what is done is after some time this collision value is reset. Okay, so that for this it doesn't become a starvation kind of situation. So this is capture effect. Now what I want from all of you is to solve problems which has been included in uh, examples and then if you have any doubt or any specific problem so maybe that I'll include in illustration or next illustration so all the best for today I hope you all complete the course of today's and well see you in the next lecture thanks for watching